it's me Megs and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I put this wig on this is my new wig that I've been wearing and I'm gonna give you guys all the information you've been asking about it so this wig is from my first wig quality wigs for beginners and it is a sister company to RPG show and what's different about this line is that being it is uh, geared towards first wig wearers you get all the products you need all in one box so it comes with bobby pins that you don't have to buy which everyone needs when you know you have your wig you're gonna need to pin down some areas and it also comes with a wig cap which is very helpful um, this is more of a nude wig cap and uh, it comes with two um, two pieces in this little pack here and I really like this little pouch it comes with too that it holds everything in it also has instructions in here on how to care for your wig and what's all in it and proper ways to, you know, care for your wig. And it also comes with these duck bill clips, which is also very necessary when trying to get the wig to lay flat after you have washed and deep conditioned it. And also with this uh, fine tooth comb, which is very, very necessary. All of this is necessary. So it's great that you don't have to go out and buy this stuff because it all comes in one box. And this wig I have, if I'm pronouncing this right, is Minion, Minion, <laughs> and this texture is Malaysian Silky, it's 14 inches in the front and 13 in the back, and in this wig box it did come with a portable wig head, which is great for traveling because when I tend to travel, I tend to bring my wig head and this will be helpful and save a lot of room. So I did have braids in my hair and they are a little frizzy because I do work out during the week so they're a little bit old but make sure you have some braids in your hair and I'm going to use my personal wig cap that's a little darker because I find that the darker wig cap um, works better with um, not being able to de detect the line of demarcation from the lace because sometimes with the lace you can see where your wig cap stops and you know where it begins so that's why I like a darker one and I don't really have to use as much concealer either when I have a darker wig cap so I personally since I'm at home I store my wig on my own personal wig head just because I prefer it and as you can see the wig is like an asymmetrical style it's longer in the front and shorter in the back um, the texture is very very soft and silky I did wash and deep condition and flat iron the wig prior to this video because I've been wearing it during the week so as you can see it has it's a laced wig and my lace color is medium brown and it has three combs in the wig and adjustable straps so I adjusted the strap before putting on the wig and then just securing it onto my head and as you can see it just plops on pretty easy and now I'm going to just comb it and touch it up just to make sure it looks as natural as possible. And as you guys can see, this is exactly how it lays. It probably needs some tweaking just to uh, make it look even more natural because I personally don't care for how heavy it sits on my shoulders. And I'm going to pull my wig forward a little bit just to make sure it looks as natural as possible in there and off camera I did apply some gel and a little bit of concealer towards the top, top part of my little uh, wig hairline and to make it look a little flatter I did um, use a flat iron to flatten the top half out and later on I'm probably gonna have to take some hair out by plucking to make it a little flatter towards the top you can see it's a little bumpy but that might also contribute to the braids I have and I'm just gonna touch up with my flat iron and use some hairspray by Sebastian this is my favorite hairspray it's a super hold because this wig wigs tend to have flyaways so I want to make sure that I don't have too many flyaways like that and I'm just gonna smooth it out with my hands to get it to where it needs to be you know like that okay so this is kind of like the finished look of the wig I didn't cut into it or anything because I wanted to get on here and show you guys exactly how this wig looks um, from just flat ironing it and all of that good stuff um, this is kind of like a longer bob in my opinion um, the back does have a few flaws and I wanted to show y'all before I cut into it um, the back uh, area of the bob is it's not 
it could be a little more neater if you guys know what I mean by uh, the cut as far as those little strands a little kind of like wispies where the sy symmetrical asymmetrical look could be a little neater so I'm gonna probably have to go in go into this and cut it a little bit but I, I was a little afraid to do it before the video because my last bob wig that I had I messed it up so that's why I didn't cut into this one but overall I really really like this I've been wanting a bob like this for a long time I feel like me along <laughs> Um, it's a really cute bob, something different and great for the summertime. I always get something in my eye. Um, this texture is a little too silky for me, if that makes any sense. It's very, very silky soft. I didn't have any issues when I shampooed or deep conditioned it. It was no shedding, none of that. Um, only thing is that it's extremely silky. I think I would much prefer, um... Uh, something with a bit more texture just because I just feel like this is a little too silky but I really love the overall um, the overall look of this wig it's really cute I've gotten a lot of compliments on it but other than just the kind of wispy hair in the back that kind of needs to be cut um, as far as you know the neatness I like my cuts to be really neat if I'm gonna have a bob sitting on my neck I would just prefer that it be a little more neat and the the texture feels good, but it's just too silky for me. I don't know how to describe something being too silky, but I'm hoping you guys understand what I mean by that. But like I said, overall, this is the wig. I really like it. You can wear it behind your ears like you've seen on Instagram. I personally tuck it behind my ears for a daytime look, but the lace, you have to be careful with the lace. So I've been wearing it like that, but for the purpose of this video, I wanted to show it like this. This is cute too. It definitely changes my look up because I've never worn a bob like this. A lot of people normally see me with longer wigs. So this is a great everyday wig. I feel like this would be a great wig for uh, going back and forth to work like your work wig. You know, corporate, <laughs> a corporate wig or just whatever kind of wig you want it to be. Um, if you guys do have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comment area and I will try to answer that for you as well as check out the description for all the specs and any additional information that you may want to know about this wig this will be in the description below so like always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later